Now let's build a more advanced preset where we can control the footsteps for our left and right foot separately using the trigger buttons. Tab 1 will contain our left footsteps and Tab 2 will contain our right footsteps. I've labelled the tabs and the trigger buttons to help us organise this preset. I'll also make sure that the MIDI notes on the core engines match the notes on the buttons. C sharp 3 for the left foot and D3 for the right foot. We're going to use concrete and gravel footsteps in this preset, so we will label the XY pad to match. I'll remove the label for surface 2, and for surface 3 I will change it to mute because when you drag down to this corner it will silence the footsteps. I've disabled note trigger because we're triggering the footsteps with the buttons. The XY pad will just be used to mix between the surfaces. We're going to be using footstep recordings where the heel and the toe have been recorded separately. This will give us much more control over each individual footstep. For this purpose, we're going to be using the release trigger. I'll drag my heel samples into engine 1 and my toe samples into engine 2. I'm going to enable the release trigger on engine 2. This will allow me to trigger a heel sample when I click down and a toe sample when I release the click. Now that my samples are in place in the left foot, I'm going to repeat this process for the right foot. I'll drag the heel samples into engine 1, the toe samples into engine 2, and once again enabling the release trigger on engine 2 so I can control the heels when I click down and the toes when I release the click. I'm going to pan the left footsteps slightly to the left and the right footsteps slightly to the right. Next we will assign the sampler level parameters of the core engines to the XY pad. We will map both heel and toe from the left foot and the right foot to the corner that we've labelled concrete footsteps. Once they've all been mapped we will open the modulation table and adjust the depth sliders to full. Setting the sliders to full will allow us to use the entire length of the XY pad with the loudest point being in the top left corner and the footsteps being muted in the bottom left corner. With our concrete surface mapped and in place, let's move on to the gravel surface. The gravel heels are going into engine 3 and the toes going into engine 4. Then we will map the sampler levels to the gravel corner of the XY pad, just like we did with the concrete footsteps. We've enabled the release triggers in engine 4 and we've adjusted the depth sliders in the modulation table. Now we repeat the process in tab 2 for the right foot, adding the heels to engine 3, the toes to engine 4, enabling the release trigger in engine 4, assigning the sampler levels to the gravel corner of the XY pad, and adjusting the depth sliders in the modulation table to full. Now we can control the left and right foot separately, we can control the pace and the dynamics of each step by clicking down for heels and releasing for toes, and we can move across two surfaces inside the XY pad.